How you guys doing? This is Jason with Tunatech. It's been a little while and there's been a lot happening, especially in the space of artificial intelligence. And there's been a, also a kind of explosion of AI hot words and especially AI hardware. So with that being said, let's get this video started. Okay, so look up online anywhere, Google AI hardware, and you will see that there are a lot of options out there, not only with your, your assistants built into your phones, but now there's a slew of hardware. You got Humane AI Pin, which reviews have been kind of calling it a dumpster fire, but it's, you know, AI is still in its infancy. And there's a couple other ones, but today I've got something a little more positive. We got this right here. Diamonds on a box. Now, what this is, is the Rabbit R1. So the Rabbit R1 is a device that is kind of like Humane P Pin AI, where, but in, instead of wearing it on yourself and projecting on your hand and interacting with voice, this not only does voice, but it also has a screen. So uh, this is, uh, I was one of the first 100,000 to order um, and it's, like I said, the Rabbit R1. So what is a Rabbit R1? It's an AI powered device that functions as a virtual assistant. It can answer your questions, complete tasks like ordering rides or playing music, and even generate creative text formats. The price is $199 with no subscription fees as of yet. Um, the counter to this is Humane AI is $700 starting with a $24 a month fee that $24 a month includes the AI properties as well as uh, service uh, to the device. Now the Rabbit R1 features a 2.88 inch touchscreen display with a MediaTek MT6765 processor, 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. What does that mean? It's not a powerhouse but does it have to be? Um, it also has an 8 megapixel camera which they call vision so you could point at devices or objects and you can describe them help you identify things it also has dual microphones and a sim card slot for mobile connectivity for the connectivity it also includes bluetooth 5.0 wi-fi 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as well as 4g lte so that should be interesting if that does work well but here's more of what this actually is. And I'm gonna open it and unbox it. I probably won't do too much of working with it because they have to set it up and I'll do a separate video on that. But the Rabbit R1 is a unique AI device that combines two types of AI models. First one is LLMs or large language models and LAMs, large action models. Large language models, like the one you're interacting with on your phone, like the, the assistant, Gemini, all that things, are adept at understanding and responding to natural language. LAMs, or large action models, on the other hand, excel at taking action in the digital world. This combination allows the Rabbit R1 to not just understand your request, but also carry them out in various apps and online services. So as of right now, this is pretty new. Some of the stuff they, they promise probably won't be on it, but some of the stuff like the vision and, uh, you know, they there's some talk about, it does work with Spotify, so you can get that going. It works with Uber, so you can actually say, order me this and this, it'll go through the motions. Um, so it's quite interesting what it can do and what it has potential to do. Now, I don't have Spotify or YouTube music, so I'm hoping down the line they integrate more music services, more you know, Uber, Lyft, uh, all kinds of different things you can do. So. That being said, I'm gonna open this, guys. I'm pretty excited. This is the first, I did pre-order the Humane AI pin, but due to the reviews and some of the issues they're having, I kind of shelved that. Hopefully we'll have a better experience with this. So we're gonna open it up. So we got a foam disc. I'm gonna to toss that off to the side. And I'm gonna see if there's anything else in the box. I don't think there is, no. So here it is. This is an orange color. And it's got a QR code. I think this is part of how you, you kind of set it up. Uh, and this is this case is not only the case, but it's also a holder, obviously. So let's see if we can get this thing open. It's gonna tear right into it here. Let's 
Yes, I know there was a pull tab. I'm just a little excited. So on the surface here, it's just a case and it tells you where the microphones are, you know, your USB-C, it uh, looks like SIM card slot, the button you push, that's the button you push to interact with the assistant, and then a scroll wheel and a camera that turns. Um, let's just see if I can figure out how to open it, and it looks like that. So I have not held this device, but you, it also, the case bends backwards and it can kind of prop it up. So I'm gonna hold it in the hand here. So first off, it's a plastic device, and it's it feels good in hand, but it's also very light, so you can tell it's made of plastic. Let's peel this off. That was not as uh, exciting as I thought it was gonna be. So as you can see, this is the 2.8 inch screen. This is a scroll wheel and just pushing it, it's, it's not clicky. You don't feel it, that tactic feel, but it's kind of um, weighted or slow. So you, it's not like you just spin it and it keeps going. It's, you have to move it, which will probably help with anti, like, you know, going too far on screens. This is your push button for talking. There's your speaker. It's got a little rabbit there embossed in it. SIM card slot, USB Type-C, like I said, the dual microphones, and this is the the uh, camera. Let's see if I can power this on and see if the camera kind of moves so you can kind of see what it does. Because I thought when you move this, it would turn, but you probably have to have the device on. There you go. You can see the camera is now facing forward. Oh, it was facing forward. If you watch the video, you could see when it turns on, it kind of turned that around real quick. This is the boot up animation. First time it's been boot up. Now, from what I've seen, this is all you can do until you scan the QR code, uh, go into um, the rabbit hole, as they want to call it. It's their um, web site where you actually register this device. Um, and it's going to ask me right now, push the side button. Go ahead and do that. And it's saying select a network, connect to the network. Give me one second and I'll connect this to the network. All right, guys, so messing with this for a little bit, um, basically you turn it on, it tells you how to, you know, push this button aside to talk to it. The scroll wheel turns the camera, um, double click the button, turn the camera on. It's obviously doing an uh, update right now. Some of the present problems I already ran into, initially registering this device, um, I tried to use my phone and when you go to this rabbit that tech to activate, it tells you to scan, the, use your phone to scan a QR code on the screen. Uh, or use this to scan a QR code on your phone and it wouldn't work on my phone. I tried it on my computer and it worked. Now I can link Spotify, um, DoorDash, uh, Uber. So I, I got DoorDash linked to Rabbit. But what's interesting is I tried to link my uh, Uber account and it won't because it doesn't support Google login, which is what I use. So it just gives me a blank screen when trying to um, to activate. So activate my phone number uh, doesn't work because it takes me to Google login, which is currently not supported. So hopefully that'll be fixed in the future. But basically, um, it's a pretty quick and easy process. Uh, this is your scroll wheel. This is your camera. Uh, this is your button to talk and to interact with the vision camera. Uh, you can use your computer and or your phone to activate, but I suggest using a computer monitor, at least in my case, it would not, my phone would not scan the QR code and it wouldn't work. But when I put the QR code on my monitor and scan this, it worked just fine. So you guys, this has been a quick unboxing of the Rabbit R1. I plan on doing another video to um, show you the specs and what else it can do, uh, vision and, and, and inquiring, inquiring uh, certain questions. So this is Jason with Tunatech and thanks for watching.